In this video, we are going to go ahead and get a domain for our site. Now we should have already done our keyword research so we know what keywords we're going to have to after. And now we're going to try to get a domain with those keywords. So for me personally, um, I like to use Namecheap.com. Um, I've used a ton of registers in the past. Um, used to use GoDaddy mostly, but I've had some issues with them. So I've kind of moved away from them. Um, and now I use Namecheap exclusively. So if you want to follow along exactly, you can use Namecheap as well. Otherwise, whichever one uh, you are familiar with. Now, when I did my keyword research, if you remember in the previous video, the two terms that I wanted to target were sleeping bag reviews and best sleeping bag. Um, I had two secondary terms as well. They're just variations, um, sleeping bags review and best sleeping bags. Um, so basically just an S on bag. So if I can't find a domain with the top two, I can always use those. So ideally, the best domain for me would be best sleeping bag reviews because it uses um, both keywords. I'm going to have exact match on both of those keywords if I, if I can get that domain. Again, because I'll have best sleeping bag and then I'll have sleeping bag reviews all in there. If I can't get any of those, I can move on to my secondary terms. So let me try best sleeping bag reviews. And I'll see if that is available. And I'm in luck, it actually is. Best sleeping bag reviews. Now, if, I'm just gonna star that one because that's probably the one I wanna use. Let's say that wasn't available. Well then I could try best, um, what did I have, best sleeping bags review. And that one's actually taken. Um, I also could do just review, take the S off there. And now you can see that one's available too. So what you want to do, you ideally you want to get both of the, well, if you're going after two terms, you want to try to get both of those terms in the domain. It's going to give you a little boost SEO wise. It's just nice to do. If you can only get one term, get that. Um, but for this specific example, I'm going to be reviewing sleeping bags. So having sleeping bag reviews in the domain is probably my number one, um, the number one thing I want to get in there. Now, I just so happens I could get them both, best sleeping bag reviews. So that worked out perfect. Um, I would urge you to get a .com. I know .coms are getting harder and harder to get, um, but from the sites I've created, .com still perform the best. Um, a .net is also an option. Um, I don't like to put a lot of hyphens in the domain, but if you know if you're if you're short on available domains, you can do that. But ideally, if you can get your keywords in your domain with a .com, um, you know that's the route I would go. So. For this example, it just so happens that Best Sleeping Bag Reviews was available, which works out perfect um, for this. So go ahead and find a domain. Again, try to get a .com. Try to stay away from hyphens and try to get your main keyword in there. Um, so if you have to put a secondary term in there, you can do that as well, um, whether it be Sleeping Bag Reviews Online or, um, like for example, Best having to work out good, Best Sleeping Bag Reviews or I could possibly do top sleeping bag reviews. Any kind of modifier you need to put in there, that's fine as well. I would just urge you to try to get your main keyword in the domain and get a .com without having to use hyphens. So I got bestsleepingbagreviews.com. That's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And then from there, you just want to hook up your domain to your hosting account and then install WordPress. Now, if you're unfamiliar with those steps, um, I would recommend one of two things. Either you go to YouTube and look on there or you simply look uh, for a, a help section on your hosting account. There's so many different hosting accounts. Um, I don't know which one everyone's using. So the easiest way is to check with your hosting account um, how to add a domain or WordPress, or just simply to look on YouTube. Uh, once you have that done, we can move on to the next step.